Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be a wedding series video, a couple updates with the wedding planning process, talking about like my rehearsal dinner outfit because it came in the mail. I ordered it from Beholden. I made the final decision for my bridesmaids dresses, so I wanted to share that with you guys. And I am going to be getting rid of the blonde in my hair. I have an appointment on Thursday, so I'm trying not to wash my hair until then. Um, and I'm completely changing it to be like dark brown to light brown. So I'm just going to take you guys through all of these new updates over the next couple days. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any wedding series videos that are to come. We still have to go to our venue, which you guys don't even know where it is yet, and a bachelorette party and a bunch of things, bridal shower, all that stuff. So also, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram if you want all of the real-time updates and things like that. I share a lot on my stories and in my feed, but besides that, I just want to go ahead and get into it because my... Uh, rehearsal dinner outfit came today and I'm dying to try it on. I decided that I wanted to wear a jumpsuit from Beholden and I saw this online and I just knew it was something that I wanted to wear so bad. So it, I will have it linked down below by the way. It's basically just a jumpsuit that has um, a v-neck and then slits on the sides of the legs. So my legs will show which will be perfect for where we're getting married. If you're new here, we're getting married at February 13th of 2021. So in like almost seven months okay so this is the designer of the jumpsuit <laughs> monique something i don't want to butcher it but that's just the designer but it is from beholden and i ended up ordering a size 10 because i read the reviews and they said it was like super tight and to size up and i figured i could always just get alterations if i needed to but it's this really pretty silk ivory material and i'm gonna try it on i'm so excited okay here it is i left my bra on because i'm stupid and i forgot to take it off but now it's already there so I'm not taking it off but here's the 10 on me it honestly fits so well i might just have to get it taken in a little bit but i don't even know i might not because i like how comfortable it is but then it's got the two slits in the legs and the back it just comes like that but oh my goodness i seriously love this so much i'm so excited and then i'll just wear like nude heels but yeah here's my rehearsal dinner outfit i think i might even wear my hair in a ponytail or maybe not i don't know we'll see but yeah it doesn't have pockets i kind of thought it might but oh, I like it so much. I'm so excited. So I am about to leave to go get my hair done. Oh, I just got this purse off of Amazon. Look at how cute. It's just like an old style 90s purse. I can have this linked down below in case you guys want it because it was literally inexpensive, but I needed to hide it in my closet so Colin doesn't get mad at me for shopping some more. <laughs> so I'm about to go get the blonde completely taken out. So my hair is extremely dirty. My mom is actually already there getting her hair done. So yeah, my appointment's not till two, but they told me I could come earlier because my mom's not getting that much done her hair, I guess. So yeah, I'm just gonna pour myself a coffee, take it to go, and then we will be at the salon. I'm super excited though. I'm kind of nervous just because I'm like changing my color of my hair, but I think it'll look a lot more natural and then it'll look better for the wedding. So that's all that matters. I just ordered a to-go coffee cup on Amazon for my coffees when I'm in this situation and it's supposed to come today but it hasn't yet and I need to go so that's okay. I was hoping it would come but we'll just take that cup for now. Colin's also working out since I have a hair appointment. I made him a smoothie and I'm putting it in the fridge. I should write him like a cute note. I'm gonna do that quick. I don't have any sticky notes so I'm just gonna use an index card. Okay, cute little note on his smoothie. Oh, okay. All right. Now I'm gonna take me my coffee 
I also always bring a water bottle because I get so dehydrated because it takes like hours to do my hair and I'm gonna go Made it in the car. I had to run back upstairs because I completely forgot I have one row of extensions left from the pack of my hair right now because I bought a new pack and They're up top up here and so we're gonna use this row plus the new pack so um, It will just blend a little bit better. I think I don't know either way half of this pack's getting used but i can't even believe i remembered like it's a miracle i remembered because i was just like in the elevator and i was like oh my god i didn't bring the hair so yeah i just don't know how i remembered but i'm very thankful i did or else i literally would have had to turn around when i got there and it's like 30 minutes from my apartment and come all the way back but that didn't happen thank god i'm almost there but i thought it would be a good time i'm at a red light to tell you guys about our situation and going to visit the wedding venue because we were supposed to be there this week and then after this we were supposed to go to the beach both got canceled because of covid which sucks um but yeah we were gonna go to the beach right after we went and visited the wedding venue so because the wedding venue is still closed now we've pushed our trip to September and I mean hopefully we get to go in September I feel like either way we're gonna go in September and we might not get to see the venue but we'll see the outside of the venue and then that way we can still go and meet with the wedding planner and figure out more logistical things and meet with florists and stuff because you can still do all that if we don't get to see the venue but I see the outside I like understand but at the same time we need to go because one I've never even been there I've booked a venue and vendors for a place that I've never seen before so that's a little bit scary but that's what happens when you're planning a wedding throughout COVID so yeah there was like quite literally nothing I could do about that um, but it was like book a wedding or don't book a wedding and wait and then have other people book during the date you want so I just figured like you know what either way like we'll make it work and it'll be beautiful from what I've seen online the venue is absolutely stunning so anyway that's just like the update but right now we were supposed to be there so yeah that's kind of upsetting but it's okay because I still get to get my hair done now instead but um yeah things are just really crazy and I get a lot of questions asking like um, am I stressed out planning a wedding during COVID and all this stuff? And then uh, this girl who I know, she, I guess she's like a friend of a friend. She's like a mutual friend. So her name's Elena. Um, she's super sweet, but she said like her biggest advice was not to stress until things come up. So she's like, don't stress out about, about something you haven't even experienced yet. She's like, just take it as it comes and worry about things as they come. And I was like, yeah, that was pretty much amazing advice. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just worrying about things as they come and as they unravel. And I'm not going to stress myself out about something. Something that might not even be a problem one day you know so anyway I just made it to the salon so I'm going to go inside and my mom's still here by the way if you want to look up my extension brand the brand is right here no no, no sorry other side brands on the other side and my weft number is over here but they're the boheme extensions hand tied sewn in these are more blonde and multicolor, and the ones i ordered are super light brown so yeah i'm excited it's also supposed to start pouring around the time that i'll probably be done so i brought a jacket to cover my head in case because i'm always prepared and i just got my hair done so i'm not getting it wet so i'm gonna go inside do you want to take this away well here's really this is what's in my hair right now they, honestly it doesn't look that different it really doesn't i'm just gonna show people so they can in case anyone wants to get the same color i'm getting i don't know we'll make it work i'm kind of nervous <laughs> wait are you completely like replacing your hair with that hair uh-huh do you want to get in hello Okay, so we've gone darker. There's just a little couple pieces of my blonde, but we're about to balayage everything more dark. Mm. Here is the hair. So it's still got like a little bit of blonde in there and we're gonna completely take out that blondish part next time. But I'm trying to get like my front piece to look normal. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just 
a lot darker and then um, a little bit brighter towards the top so we could just blend in the pack that I still had and then once that pack goes by because like you want to use the hair that you have right because that would be a waste so then I really like this color though once that hair in my head gets like worn down then we'll put the rest of this pack in and then that's when we'll go like really dark so it's just a process which is why we have a wedding series <laughs> to capture the whole process I love it and I love having new hair because it's so soft so I also forgot that in this wedding series I wanted to show you guys when Colin and I went to the store to get his groomsmen outfits so I'll just in insert these clips here but we got them from macy's and they're just linen suits so they're pants and a blazer and it was literally so inexp it was so inexpensive it was like 120 for everything and that's really good and they bought them um you couldn't rent them so they can have them and rewear them which is nice but yeah it's just i wanted like linen suits and i knew that i didn't they didn't have to be like very very expensive or anything like that because it just be kind of pointless they the look that they have um is the look i was going for so yeah i think that they are absolutely perfect and we'll just show you the clips but that's what we are going with this is perfect this could not have gone better hello we are currently going to fix the lighting for you because that's important Colin, before you get undressed okay here we're in the dressing room that's why i'm taking this off okay so we're currently at Macy's at South Park Mall in Charlotte, and I just returned the original pantsuit I got for Colin, and I ordered it online because it was on sale, but it was very thin and not quite the material I was looking for. So then we just came, oh my gosh, I like that so much more. We just came to Macy's, and now he's going to try on this suit. I'll come sit over here. So the brand is INC international concepts okay he's gonna try it on we're excited okay this was a wrap we're getting that and then we're gonna send the links to his groomsmen so they can all order i just texted his mom so connor and ray his dad can come and get them or i'll text him the link but that was so successful i was not expecting that wanted to talk to you guys about my bridesmaids dresses so we're just gonna have a conversation while I sit on my bed. Initially, I showed you guys four swatches, and by the way, we're doing bridesmaid dresses from Show Me Your Moo Moo, and I'm so excited about it. But um, initially, I told you guys I was undecided and stuck between Show Me The Ring Crisp and what is the other one? I always forget. Dusty Blush Crisp. So I ended up going with Dusty Blush Crisp so it would look good on everybody, but I was always still caught up in Champagne Luxe Satin. So here's Champagne Luxe Satin so you guys can get like a better look at it. It is satin and then here's the Dusty Blush color. So I decided I'm going to have some be Dusty Blush and then I'm going to have a couple, like three, maybe four, be the satin and I'm going to mix and match. So I'm going to have two different bridesmaid shades. But once you see what my wedding dress looks like, you're going to understand why I did this because it's going to end up looking really, really good. So I'm really excited and I just wanted to give you guys the update because last time I told you guys I was just doing Dusty Blush and now it is updated and I'm doing Champagne Lux and Dusty Blush. I'm having some dresses repeat. I don't think, I think two of them repeat and then there's one that's different. The Champagne Luxe Satin, I keep on like switching things around. Those three are all different. And then the ones that repeat, there's a color in Dusty Blush and Champagne Luxe. Those two dresses are the same, but they're different shades, so I figured it was fine. And then there's other two other dresses that repeat in the Dusty Blush color. But if you do your bridesmaids dresses through Show Me Your Moo Moo, they give you like an online showroom and you can literally play with your lineup and drag dresses to where your bridesmaids would be standing in the line so you can literally see them next to each other. So that's what I've been doing and um, it looks really, really good. Okay, actually I just decided I'm going to open up my computer and literally show you guys so you can get a better idea and that way we can all be involved in the wedding plating process. Also, today is day two of my hair and I'm obsessed with it. I feel like I should have been this color all along and I probably will never change my hair color now because I like it so much. It might go like a slight bit darker but other than that I don't think so because I really really like it. So 
Yeah. I figured I would just show you my Show Me Your Moo Moo online showroom you can make. Um, just in case anyone wants to do this too, this is pretty much what it looks like. So you have a wedding countdown. So as of today, which is the 7th of August, our wedding's in 189 days, which is a little stressful, but that is okay. So you have your showroom and then you also have your bridal party. So I have everybody written down in here and then you can add dresses. So you can literally assign dresses to your bridesmaids and do whatever you want. So I pretty much have everyone's dress that they ended up choosing here so they could um, just have it, you know? And then play with lineup is what I was just telling you guys about. So I can move dresses around, put people where I want them to be, everything like that. I can like switch back and forth and it's pretty cool. So yeah, this is not final by the way. This is just, actually this is the one that I have not saved yet. I accidentally closed out and forgot to save what I did last. So this isn't what everything will look like, but here's just an idea of what you can do. And then you also can see when your bridesmaids have purchased the dress. So I can be sure that they've all purchased, which is really nice. I wish I had that option for Colin's groomsmen because not all of them have bought the suits yet and I'm like literally getting stressed out. But um, that's just the way I am. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because it's actually really, really nice. And I like that feature a lot. I feel like it's a little bit of like a newer feature that Show Me Your Moo Moo has done. And they also just came out with brand new styles of the Champagne Lux Satin, which is why I ended up going with Champagne Lux Satin. But yeah, I'm very excited. That's pretty much all I have planned so far. A lot of the issue is we can't go to the wedding menu like I was telling you guys earlier or else we would have gotten a lot more done. I'm sure it's just like the waiting game, but I know we'll pull it all together before the wedding. That's just what I have done. It's a very slow process. I know calling it my first dance song. I'm gonna save that for like the actual wedding. I'm gonna do like a huge wedding q and I'm probably gonna do a wedding Q&A on my Instagram, all that stuff. Um, but there's just some things that I really wanna keep like a secret, like an element of surprise for the wedding. Um, so I know our first dance song. I know my dad and my first dance song. I know the song I want to walk down the aisle to. Um, and then like I want to walk down to the like first part of the song and then after we get married we both walk out to like the rest of the song. You know what I mean? I also just ordered a wedding planning book from Etsy. So uh, when it comes in, I'm going to have it in my next wedding series um, update video, which will be in like a couple weeks, not too long. But I just decided that instead of having it all written down in my notes, I wanted it written down like on an actual notebook so that way I can go back and look at it forever and just keep it. I can have it linked down below in case you guys want to get it now. But um, yeah, I just was using everything and writing everything down in my notes and I just had a section that was like wedding, but I realized it'd be so much easier if I could just write everything down. There's an area for like budget checklist day of all this stuff and like just notes so I, when I randomly think of stuff I can write it down and that way I'm like so much more organized so I did just order that I was trying to do it the cheap way it was only like $50 and there's like a lot to it and it's just worth it because it's something I'll have forever so and it's just something like I can look back on so I'm excited that I got that and I wanted to share that because I literally ordered it today. Carrying on with the wedding series video, my mom is now here. We're about to have a call with my wedding planner, Sadie. I just said that very weird. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a FaceTime phone call and there she is. Are you in Good, Hi. how are you? Okay, my mom left the call with my wedding planner. It went really, really well. So we have some dates down. We're going to the wedding venue the week of September 21st, which is so nice that we scheduled the dates and everything. And so now after this, I'm gonna look for flights and stuff and find us a little Airbnb to stay in. And then, um, our videographer we have the call with next, our photographer, coolest girl ever, literally ever. Um, she's free and it, um, my wedding planner knows her really well. So she's going to be our photographer and, um, we'll meet her when we go to the wedding venue. Um, we went over photo booth details, 
we went over like a bunch of decor details we went over um we went over a lot of stuff i don't know why i'm blinking right now she's sending me over some information about linens so i'm gonna pick out the linens and stuff for the ceremony or reception i mean and then um also we talked about dj um florals floraling stuff i think i'm gonna use um i can't tell you who i'm using yet because if you looked them up it would literally say where the venue is but i know the florists we're using and we're just meeting with all those people when we go to the venue and um we talked about the menu so the menu for the wedding we're gonna do like mexican styled everything um and have like mexican food which will be fun because that's what we really want to do and yeah, we just had like a really good chat and she's sending me over a bunch of stuff. I sent her a bunch of pictures of like inspo that I found and things like that. So yeah, that whole situation went really well. But there will be a very fun wedding series video coming the week of September 21st because that's when we go to the venue and announce it and all that good stuff. So yeah, anyway, here we go. It's 4.55 or calls at 5 with the videographer. So calling me to come over here so we can get situated and i'll let you guys know how it goes we are just asking them questions i'm not hiring them today or anything i need to talk with my wedding planner about it because she's got someone she thinks would be a good fit too so yeah we're just kind of like asking questions okay so i have really good news i just showered because i hadn't showered all day because we've just been doing a lot with the wedding stuff but we are hiring the videographer team that we just had a call with they were absolutely amazing so definitely stay tuned for um more wedding series vlogs because we will announce it but um uh, just we haven't like signed the contract or anything yet so I don't want to like announce it until we're officially working with them but we just had the call and basically the questions that I asked them in case you have a call with your videographer is uh, what's the turnaround time for the trailer video and for the actual wedding video and footage and so um, for the company we chose the turnaround time for the trailer is about like a week which is really really good it was actually better than I was expecting and then the video is about 100 days which i was expecting because seeing colin edit his videos it takes him so long so i figured that like it took videos a long time to be edited and their videos are so good and like so detailed and intricate so i am totally fine with waiting it honestly isn't really that long when you think about it and i'm sure they um over what is that saying over promised and under deliver yeah. so um yeah, I'm sure that's like an estimate, but I'm sure it'll be before that anyway. So yeah, we are so excited. Um, also, I've noticed a lot that the people who we go with and the people who we book are people who have amazing personalities and who are really fun to work with and who kind of like vibe with us really well and see our like style and see, my dad just texted me and now my watch is going off and see our vision and things like that. So that's like my biggest advice, honestly. It just makes the wedding planning process so much better when you book people and you hire people who are really easy to work with and who have really fun personalities and who are just like hey it's your day like we're gonna make it the best possible you know so that's definitely a recommendation but i asked that i asked them if it was okay if i posted on my youtube channel they said absolutely what else did we ask we kind of talked about covid but i said let's cross that bridge when the time comes <laughs> um do you remember what else we asked um and I really like the videographer because he said um, it's a wife and husband team, which I like a lot. And then he said like they just basically take the time to get to know the um, couple and like showcase it and make sure the video is like all about them, which obviously because it's your wedding video. But he was like not so much highlight the guests, but really highlight you two and like where your story is going. That's what he said. I really liked that. Um, basically showcasing like what our story's been and where our story's going and I thought that that was just so cool because it is like they consider themselves storytellers which is something that was so important to me when searching for a videographer because I did not want a video that just had the video to a song and like no talking or anything throughout so that's just like my personal preference and I just really wanted it to be like a film and like a story you know so that's what they do so that was what i looked for in a videographer and then someone in the state of where we are getting married so yeah that's pretty much all for the videographer chat same thing with the photographer um i literally am so excited about her too so 
yeah i am going to end this wedding series video but another one is coming so so soon so i'm very excited about it but i hope you guys enjoyed this if you aren't subscribed make sure you're subscribed because we are seriously I know the wedding's in 188 days from today when I'm filming this. So it's, it'll be like 186 by the time you guys see this, but there's still so much to be done. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video.